mommy's over there still asleep. I am about to. Yesterday, <sighs> we're about to get in the shower, get a relax today. See ya in a little bit. some stuff up but I'm getting out of breath try to lower my oxygen just to see you know how I was, I was so lightheaded so I can't do that no more but I'm trying to clear off some of this stuff a change I have the same lady that I had I said can I get a bed change before you go not you know before you leave my room but just before you leave the ship and we start laughing but oh. she, going. she oh. got on this these shorts <laughs> yeah, with her bay shirt but that must be britney yeah <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> what shoes you wearing with that i got to put these on them things uh -huh. high they don't be hugging your feet uh-uh they comfortable I forgot my, I kind of put my white. Well, these are shoes. Mm. I'm going to be different now. I'm going to do housekeeping coming today. <clears throat> my floor needs to be mopped. Yeah, I'll see. Oh. <laughs> these are the shoes I'm wearing. And where you get them shoes so, from? I don't know, from my second daughter. Oh, do she know you got them? Yeah, she said I can have them. Yeah. Oh. I can I can believe that. So my brother <laughs> brought me some wings yesterday. Which, to eat them, but because I got some tacos too. Anytime somebody says they're gonna bring food to me, I am not gonna turn it down. Even if I'm not hungry, or even if even if I am eating, I'm not gonna turn it down because I can always warm it up and save it for later. So I'm about to warm up my wings and have them for, I haven't ate anything today, so it's almost, it's actually almost lunchtime. So I'm about to do that. My mom is gone, she had to, Go do some errands, wash, all that. So she's gone. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm lightheaded from just that. Yeah. These lungs gotta come through. These treatments gotta work. Cause I'm telling y'all, I meet some very, very sweet people here. Unfortunately, well, it's a good thing. Most of them have gone home and been discharged to go on to their next journey in life. Still here, but we're not gonna focus on that. Anyways, getting my treatment last week, so I didn't get it. Uh, I didn't actually get to go to, um, what was that? Oh, what is it called? Actually get to go to group. And when I got back, everybody was telling me that somebody was looking for me to give me a card. And I didn't know. Y'all yeah, yeah, know. I don't know people by their names. I just be talking. I know your face. 
I don't know if you know, I don't be doing people by their name. So everybody was telling me, I'm like, okay, I don't know, but you know, they, they said that she would give it to me personally. And I knew it had to be somebody, either a patient here or someone's family member. So um, I was resting, she came in Saturday, if I'm not, if I'm not, yeah, I think she came in Saturday or Friday, I don't know y'all. This woman is amazing. She's been here with her husband. He's had two transplants. They've been here in Houston for about six to seven months. But back and forth between these hospitals and the beautiful thing about it all is she was here with her husband, with him, and she has cancer this whole time. And she was going to MD Anderson to do her cancer treatments and taking care of her husband and she was just strong. This woman, she wasn't crying, she was just telling and inspiring others and letting others know about her God and how amazing God is. And she said, you know, her husband would be mad and upset that he can't do the things he used to do. And she said, I told him we can do new things. We can do new things. Sweet. But anyways, she came in my room, told me her goodbyes. They finally get to go back home. They say probably um, actually stay in Beaumont where my friend is um, drive from. So it's like two hours away, but she has not been home since then or saw our grandbabies or anything. So she is excited, but she came to say goodbye to me and um, she left me with a card. I haven't read it yet, so I'm gonna open it now and read it, but amazing. The card says, when you need, when you need the wall to fall, the sea to part, the mountain to move, the rain to start, the chains to break, the enemy to flee, the storm to cease, the victory. Mighty, awesome, faithful God has got you covered. Praying, trusting, believing with you. And then she writes, may God bless and keep you is my prayer. I love you and he will never leave you. There will be things you don't understand. Sometimes you get discouraged and frustrated. God didn't bring you this far to leave you. You may not understand it, but God is in control. He is. <laughs> Directing your steps. Now, do your part. Stay in faith and keep a good attitude. Let God be your vindication. He has it all figured out. God loves you. And she gives me some scriptures. Yeah, I'm such a baby. But it just, just inspires me and just really, really reinforces that. Like I told you guys, God is all around me. All the time. This lady is going through so much. So much. And she's an older lady. Never have I heard her complain or anything. But she did what she had to do. She do what she had to do. She got kids. 
She had a husband, grandchildren. Keeping in contact with her. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm okay. How are you doing? I'm okay. You kind of recovered from yesterday. A, a little. A little. <laughs> yeah. I was about to give you another dose tomorrow, so I want to see if you're. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm ready for ready the other for dose tomorrow. Okay. Um, yeah. my breathing is okay. Okay. Let's take a listen. <clears throat> Are you able to get up and get around to the bathroom? Okay. Yeah. No issues. No. And no swelling, right? No. I don't want to see that. All right. Okay. So, how many more days do we have of the LASIK? Just tomorrow. Just tomorrow after the IVIG. Okay. You know, that's it. And what about the prednisone? I'm on. Same thing. They they give the prednisone before the IVIG. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, the the solumedrol. They yeah. give that before the IVIG. But the solum the prednisone, you're at 20 milligrams, and I think they're gonna keep that for a few days before they drop it back to 10. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Is there any other concerns or anything I, else I can do for you? No. That's okay. it. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. I'm sitting up in here crying. <laughs> My doctor's like, are you with that bag? Do you have any other? I bet he was like, she's crying. Yeah, I'm actually, these are not sad tears. They're, they're happy tears and just emotional tears just because it has not gotten easy. I didn't expect it to be easy, but I don't know how, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know, I don't really expect anything these, these days, but, you know, I just roll with the punches, but it has been rough, you know, not only do I have to just, you know, sit in this state right now, and I mean, in this state, like, in this body, like, this unhealthy body, you know, and, and you know, I have to be in this hospital. These other issues that's going on, like, with the insurance stuff, and all these things that nobody have control over. And it's so light, like it's kind of just like. So, I'm trying to deal with it the best way I know how to deal with it. And you know, I have support from you guys and my family, and we're just all trying to. I don't know who to talk to about this insurance stuff. I don't know. So I'm kind of at a, with that, but everything is going to be okay. Uh, my dad is supposed to come visit me today. Uh, my mom forgot to leave my car keys, so I uh, might not be able to go check on my car today, but back by then, and then he can go by there and check on it, but... Anyways, if not, I don't remember. But, all right, so I finally found my phone. Yeah, I'll just be losing stuff in this bed. But let me ask you guys this. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. But, hey, we just had those days some days. So my friend is, my friend is gay. Okay, so she's married to a woman. All right, so this is what I need. Well, just kind of tell me where you guys stand on this because it's very interesting. Personally, okay, anyways, let me tell you the guys the what's going on. Okay, so my friend is married to a woman. She's been married to a woman maybe about 
six years now five or six years something around there uh, we actually met when at the last job that i worked at anyway it's she was married to a man or whatever I, any okay fast forward she's married to a woman and she recently decided to get baptized which actually happened today so she was telling her she was telling her dad about it and can he come of course you know our grandparents are dads you they're raised in a different century or whatever and so he actually like really went off he's like i'm not coming i'm not recording that or whatever but he accepts her wife like they can go to his house and everything and go visit but he told her that he was not coming to support the baptism do y'all think that was right or wrong would you guys have supported the baptism or not? And and I told her, I think it's more so of you being gay and getting baptized. That's the issue. If you were with a man and you got baptized, I think he would have no problem going. But, and then also there are two different religions. I think she is, um, uh, don't give me the line, but her and her dad are two different religions. But I don't think that that even played a part in it. I think the most part where he was coming from was just that she's gay and being baptized. And so he has a problem with that. Even if he does accept her and her wife when they come visit or whatever, I think that was his issue. What do you guys think? Do you guys, would you guys have supported your children in that? or what I don't know honestly I don't know how I feel about that situation but because it's my friend I would support her and go but I would not speak so much about that whole being gay thing and being baptized I don't know about all of that but I if I was not in the hospital and I could go I would go for support because I think getting baptized is a good thing but I think that you also have to be aligned when you're getting baptized make sure that you know you are following the word and all of this and so yeah that's where I'm a little confused at but I don't know very interesting very very interesting though okay but a lot of you guys are like can you get a nurse at home it's i can get a nurse at home it's not a problem with getting a nurse at home but the reason why i'm in the hospital is because i'm on too much oxygen they can't provide me with the oxygen that i'm on at home i am on right now at rest i'm on 11 liters of oxygen that's flowing up my nose when I'm up and moving around, I need more than that. My stats drop. So, they don't offer that at home. And that's the issue. That is my problem. So, even if a nurse was able to come out, they can't get the oxygen that I need to meet at my house. At home. So, that's the issue. That is why I'm here. When I'm up and doing activity, I'm actually on... 25 liters of oxygen 25 liters and um, even on that I am still able to stay a little bit above 90 but I still have to rest and I still have pulmonary hypertension and um, all of that so you know a lot of times I don't think that you guys know exactly you know full like the full of the in-depth thing because if it was just that easy I would be home so it's not just that easy and it's just uh, it's, mm, it's just I'm tell y'all it's crazy 
it's crazy. My lungs are not, my lungs, they probably function at less than 50%, less than 50%. Um, and that was about a couple of years ago when I asked that. I don't wanna know the answer to that now. <laughs> I don't, I don't wanna know what they function at now cause I can kinda of tell. So, let me FaceTime my niece. You know, my niece don't never call me. But if she want a phone case or something, she want to call me. Hello? What you doing? Nothing. Why you don't be calling me and checking on me? You be so that you be that busy. Nah. You be that busy. No. Oh, well then you better start. Okay. What you doing? No, I'm about to clear off this stuff so that I can be ready when she come here for the uh, um, change. I really... I need to use my tripod. I do not want to risk my camera dropping because I will not be able to get that one. Comprehend and understand. Right, right, all right. And and all of that, you don't let it get you down. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's all right to cry. Yeah. Uh, I do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of packages from you guys from a P.O. Box. One um, I actually got last week. I just was actually the vlog that I recorded it on. It just didn't go up. It didn't make it because I didn't have enough footage or I didn't finish vlogging or whatever I did for that day. I don't know. But it didn't, it didn't make it in the vlog. A lot of times, a lot of stuff don't make it in the vlog. Anyways, I got this. I don't know who actually sent me this. So if you send me this, thank you so much. But this is an item from the beauty counter. It's very, very nice. And this is some lotion. In a little bit, it's almost time for my meds. Okay, so this is some citrus hydrating body lotion. It feels really, really nice on the skin really really nice and then I also got some lip conditioner and peppermint so yeah I'm really excited about that y'all know my lips always try especially when I have a lot of treatments and stuff and white around my lip <laughs> but if you sent this this does not have a card or a name or anything on it if you sent this, thank you so, so much. I'm gonna be using this. It smells so good. Makes me almost want a peppermint. The lotion feels so nice too. I never actually heard of Beauty Counter, but I'm trying to look them up. Then I got a box from Tarsha. 
Tarsha. Let me get it right. Tarsha. Tarsha. All right, so I'm about to open this because I need my scissors over there now. I'm about to open it and head it open. The first thing I see, this is so cute. Is this big mug. Oh my gosh, and it has my name on it. <laughs> and it has positive quotes like, never give up. Strong is the new skinny. Do this for you. You can do this. Work it. This is so cute. I almost don't want to open it. I don't want to open it and mess it up. Okay, turn it back to so how it was. It's so big. I can put my little tea in here. She got me some honey. This honey is actually good to, um, Honey is actually good to to eat. I forgot what it does, but I definitely used to drink it when I was at home. But it um it actually helps with a lot of stuff. Honey does. I got some turtles. Girl, my mama gonna eat my turtle. She fed not. And I got some. She got me some tea. Some lemon ginger tea. I've never tried this one, and I, um, I, the sleepy time tea is really, really nice. And the honey is probably for the tea, which is pretty good. But I could just eat the honey by itself, cause I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm happy when I'm happy when everybody is having a good day. When the nurses ha are having a good day, I'm happy. Like, I always try to ask them, how's your day going? And just be very, very pleasant to them. Oh, my camera is about to hang up. Okay, let me hurry up and try to open this. This last thing. And it says, thinking of you. Okay. Wrapped up. Ooh, so nice. Ooh. Got a robe. This is so sweet. This is so cute. I got you. Saw my you see you saw my green one I had. So now I have this one. So this is nice. Thank you. Oh, it smells so good too. Mm. Did you spray something on it? It smells really really nice. Okay, y'all. I'm weird like that. Oh, this is something else. What is this? <laughs> she, she sent my mama something. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna record my mama. I'm gonna give it to her and then I'm gonna record my mama for you. So, it's not gonna be in this vlog cause she's not here and I'm gonna, gonna start editing this soon, but <laughs> watch. <laughs> Put that in there for her. But thank you so much, thank you so much. I don't know. Thank you. I don't know what to say, but thank you. I'm about to die. I'm you battery. I probably would have still continued vlogging, but I'm gonna let you guys go. I, I'm I'm having a good Sunday so far. How's your Sunday going? And see you guys tomorrow. Last day of IVIG. We're gonna pray that blood test come back and all of that anyway see you guys tomorrow i love you guys mm -hmm.